Hey guys, Jared here. I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the roaming cameras. Um, and again, I'm just really reading off of our Google form that'll show you how to do that for the startup procedure. So for the roaming cameras, we're going to start with cam two. You'll be in the crow's nest. And again, the cameras are all kind of labeled one, two, three, four. Camera two will be the first one we do. And the first step there is to unplug if it was charging the battery, unplug that so you don't pull anything out. And then you're going to plug in the other, what's called a DTAP cable. And that's actually going to power up the majority of the camera. And you can see how it's kind of labeled and that just goes right in there. And then you shouldn't have anything really hanging off the camera anymore. So now it's free from the charging station. We will take this and we're going to take one of these larger lenses, which is a 40 to 150. We're going to go over to the right side of the auditorium. So first things first, you can kind of set the camera on the battery down. We're going to put the lens on. You can also do this in the room if you prefer, but you're going to take the lens cap off. It just unscrews. You're going to take the uh, camera body lens cap off and you'll see there's a red dot. And there's also a red dot on here. We're just going to match those up and turn it clockwise and it'll lock in place. From there, you'll see that there's a tripod um, plate on the bottom of this camera and that lines up with our tripod here. I believe you take it from the back and push it towards the stage. It locks in place and similar to all of our other tripods, there is a lock somewhere on it. This one happens to be on the left side of the camera. You're going to lock it in place so it can't like slip out. Uh, from there, there are two power buttons on this. One is up on the top of the battery. It's hard to see, but there is a, it's a little rocker switch. So in between the battery and like where the handle is, you're going to press that. It'll turn most of the peripheral devices on. And then the other power is the camera power. And there's a button on top of the camera body. You'll find it and push it to the right. And now all your devices are on. You can see because the screen comes on and there's video on it since you turn the camera on. From there, what you're going to do is line up your shot. The video director will help you do this, but generally, especially for first service, our shot is kind of a left angle so we can catch some of the worship leaders and then also catch Nate kind of in the center or whoever's communicating. So yeah, that's how to set up camera two. Let's go grab camera one. So camera one is on the shelf over here. Again, we're gonna unplug the charging cable, which is a skinnier, smaller cable. This is a dual charger for cams one and two. And pull out that charger cable, let it hang. We're gonna take the other actual cable that can like powers all the peripherals and plug it in. And it's only one sided. I'll turn the light on real quick, or you can see it. It's flat on one side and it's curved on the other. The curved side faces out. The flat side faces towards the camera, kind of that way. So then you should be cable free. You can tell really easily when you're not pulling things off the shelf. Grab the camera. You can go ahead and turn this one on again. And maybe this is a better view from what we had on cam two. But there's a little rocker switch. This is the first power that turns on kind of the peripherals, such as the screen and the wireless. Then the second power is right here. It's on the camera body. We're going to turn it on. And then once it's all booted up, you'll be able to see um, video and power. Oh, yes. Classic mistake. Make sure you take off the lens cap. You can either keep this on the shelf in there in the crow's nest or put it in your pocket or place it wherever you're going to be standing or sitting while you're running this camera. So there, so this is on, and then we'll walk over to the tripod. So we are house left, stage right over by the baptismal. And again, this tripod has a plate on it. It's a little different from our other tripod plates because this is more of a portable tripod on purpose. But what we do is pop in the front side so again i'll let you see that and then you push the bottom down and it'll click in place so now it's safe in there this shot if you can see this you might not be able to 
should be more of this lens is a good zoom lens. So we're going to zoom in, especially for first service, right to where that light is just off the screen, right? We wanna see the halo. And then we're gonna focus in. It's a much easier to focus, obviously, when there's actually something to focus on on stage, such as that mic stand. But that's pretty much it. Um, when you're manning this camera also during the service, the video director will help you with ISO up or ISO down for brightness. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, when you're roaming with it to take it off this, this tripod, we'll go ahead and zoom it in just in case. You're just gonna take this connector. You wanna have a firm grip on it. Press it sideways and push up. And again, it's a quick release. It'll release right off. So one more time to attach it, the opposite is true. You wanna put in the front of the camera kind of facing down in the pocket here. Then you wanna push down on it and it locks it into place with this, this lever will pop forwards. To release it, you push the lever and push up on the camera. There you go. Hope that helps guys.